My name is Barbara Hofstetter. I'm the Human Resources Director here at the Toledo Northwestern Ohio Food Bank in Toledo, Ohio. We have about 220 member agencies that utilize us through the year that are either providing meals or other services to individuals in need. This COVID um, crisis has impacted operations greatly. Uh, we are finding a, a much greater need um, out there in our community. More people are coming to our pantries for food items. Since the National Guard has been here to help us with our increased demand, they have been a critical part of meeting that demand. What would take us about a week to accomplish, they do in one or two days. So having this force here to sort stock and get everything available to our member agencies has been valuable to us. We really didn't know what to expect. We knew that uh, a group of people were going to come in and help us with our our needs here. Uh, we did not expect to have the organization and the standards that they did bring with them. So how it works, every morning we show up and we break up into three different teams. My team's in charge of uh, sorting. So what we do, we get our produce, our dairy, and our grains, and we already did that all this morning, and we filled up about seven different crate loads. We go through, we separate what is good, what is old, what is moldy, rotten, and we break them into individual categories and then the meats will uh, be broken up into what's frozen, what's fish, and so on. So once we finish that test, we start this task of the day, which is their unseparated room. So this gets filled up every day, and we keep going task by task to get it done. We'll take out a pallet, we'll drag it out here, and we will start separating the items between what is for pantry and then what is for miscellaneous. From there, we'll stack these six high, and they will take them and get ready to get shipped out to 200 different locations all around the state where they're broken down. National Guard are soldiers that are in the community that are here to do exactly what we're doing, to step in where there are shortages. Um, you know, if it's natural disaster or a virus going around the nation, it doesn't matter what it is. If this is what we signed up for. This is what we swore an oath to. At the end of the day, we're here for our communities. Half the soldiers here in this food bank in the last week and a half are from the Toledo area, so it's a lot more personal to them um, that they're here helping out their community. The National Guard is very flexible in what we do, um, and we're very proud of that, and we, we feel like we can, we can fill any task, we can provide any asset to the civilian world, be it logistics or medical or anything that we're, we're confident that we will you know, complete the mission. So the National Guard consists of so many different types of people. You have students to full-time doctors who work for the National Guard to lawyers, engineers, and everything. Myself currently I'm a student, work for the Cleveland Clinic, and hopefully one day become a doctor for the Army. Right here you have Sergeant Davis who is going to school to become a nurse practitioner. Well, you have specialist Tolls over here who's an engineer currently for Jeeps. So you got such a wide variety of careers that it's your neighbor next door, it's your friend down the street, the gentleman holds the door open for the gas station. The National Guard is filled with so many different individuals who serve their community and serve the military. Having the National Guard at the food bank, I think has really given our staff a more developed sense of community and just how many people are out there willing to help and how much support it really does take from our community to make this all happen. Uh, we have about a staff of 18 here. They give their all. They're very passionate about our mission of ending hunger. And to see the soldiers from the National Guard come in and share that passion with us and uh, want to be there um, to help us through this crisis just further gives us hope that everything's going to be okay and we're going we're to do our best to make it through this.